Okay, welcome back to the most creatively named series in all of internetdom, MacBook Air Gaming, the series in which we look at gaming on the MacBook Air. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the original Dead Space. Uh, I grabbed this when it was on Super Duper Sale on Steam a few weeks ago. Uh, it's been quite a while since I made one of these videos. Apologies for the long wait, uh, but now I'm going to try to knock out several here in a row. Uh, uh, let's jump right into it. Oh, sorry, no, first, um, I've gotten out of the habit uh, of reminding everybody of this, uh, but since not everybody watches all of the videos, uh, we are on an 11.6 inch MacBook Air, 1.4 gigahertz CPU, uh, 4 gigabyte RAM upgrade, uh, 64 gig hard drive, and I am running Windows 7 Home Premium in boot camp. Uh, I think, yeah, every game that we've looked at so far has been in Windows, uh, and actually the Steam versions, uh, they're just very convenient for quick loading and unloading without having to pull out the disk drive. Uh, I do have a couple of games laying around uh, that are on optical disk, and I may install those at some point. I know Fallout 3 is one, uh, Call of Duty 4 is another, but there are other videos I've seen online of people playing uh, COD 4, and I think also uh, Fallout 3 on the MacBook Air, I can't recall. Um, trying not to duplicate others' efforts uh, too often, I think. I already have a little bit, but all right, uh, Dead Space, just going to continue game. All right, here we are, and our frame rates are bouncing between high 30s and mid 20s right this second. Here, I'm actually going to go ahead and go through this door. Where am I? This is very early in the game. Uh, I played through as much of this game as I played through uh, on PS3 originally. Not on PC. And I have to say, I wouldn't really recommend the PC port. Um, there is a weirdness to the way the mouse look feels, and I don't think it has anything to do with the MacBook Air's hardware. I think it has to do with how they mapped the movement. The way it has been explained to me uh, was that they essentially treated the mouse look the way you would a thumbstick on a console, which is that the further you move in one direction, uh, the faster uh, or stronger movement, uh, the stronger the movement is interpolated. Um, but with a mouse look, we're used to a more linear one-to-one, -one, or not necessarily one-to-one, -one, but a movement of so far at one range is equal to a movement of so far at another range. And it just, it feels really weird. Uh, it seems, the weirdness seems to be a little more manageable if you keep your weapon up. This doesn't feel quite as wonky, um, but when I go into this, it's really, unpleasant. But this was, I think, five dollars and some odd, or six dollars, so I'm not terribly upset. It was worth worth that just to test, test the game on this hardware. And who knows, one day I might play through it in depth on PC. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Okay, let's look at the settings that we've got up right now. I think right now I have it set to medium. Yes, I do. Uh, we're running at the native resolution of the screen, which is 1366 by 768. Full screen is on, VSync is off. Graphics quality, medium. I'm gonna set these up to high, and I think you're gonna see that there's not really much difference. Frame rate has dropped just a little. Uh, the low end seems to be at about the same same place as it was, but the highs have now been capped at around 31, 32 at the 
at the high end is 33, but we were seeing 36, 38 before. Uh, if I were to put my thumb over that number, I would say that there's no difference whatsoever. I, I can't feel any practical change. I also don't see a huge change in the look of the game. So is it worth a few frames per second in order to get marginally nicer graphics? Uh, your call. But basically you can set the, the graphics to whatever you want on this game. And on this hardware you'll be able to play it. Um, let me pop a bit back down to medium and just see if I can spot the look difference. You can see a little bit of the weirdness uh, with the mouse move even in the menus here. Uh, I think it's because the buttons are sticky and so it's jumping directly to menu items but god it feels awful. And resume. Okay so 36, 37, 35 yeah, I can see. I can see some differences. This looks pretty good still, though. Oh, there's 40. You know what? I would probably, if I were playing through this, just leave it on medium. This looks perfectly nice, and a little bit of aliasing in the shadows there. I wonder if that looks any different. If we put things back up to high. Uh, there's advanced render settings here where it does give you uh, bit by bit control, uh, but basically high is, is everything on. I don't know if there's a very high option. No, it's just low, medium, high. Um, so, accept, cancel, resume. Get a look at those shadows again. No, they're pretty similar. I don't know how much of that detail is showing up in the video. There is some added sharpness to the look of his suit under high. I think it's looks mm, looks like it may primarily be lighting effects but I'm not positive. Yeah, I don't know. This looks uh this looks pretty good. High or medium, your call. Uh maybe set it on high and then if at some point you hit a section that the performance suffers because of the graphic setting, eh, kick it back down. This game will let you change it. Uh, in the middle of playing, so it's not nearly as much of a pain in the ass as, as some of the other games that we've looked at. Uh, but yeah, Dead Space 1, working fine on MacBook Air. I don't know if Dead Space 2 works or not. Uh, I'm not I don't know if they're using the same engine uh, or what changes they've made to that. have not looked to see if other people have run demos on the sequel or not. I've not played the demo. I've heard good things, uh, but just have not had time. That's going to do it for episode 11 of MacBook Air Gaming. Join us next time. We're going to be looking at whatever that newish isometric Tomb Raider game is called. Uh, I can't remember what it's called at all. Okay, until next time.